This is an example of a respiratory examination. This is a, an elderly gentleman who has uh, a focal area of bronchiectasis with collapse and a chronic cough. He has uh, significant comorbidities as well with some rheumatoid arthritis and so this is quite a difficult examination for a student to complete. The expected findings for this case are uh, dullness to percussion at the left base with uh, bronchial breathing and crackles with uh, vocal fremitus present as well. There are uh, no signs that this may be secondary to a, a malignancy. Uh, to pass this case, the um, student would be expected to perform a systematic examination uh, with care taken to the patient's needs and uh, to uh, find definite abnormalities at the, at the left base. To um, perform an exceptional examination in this case, uh, they would be expected to identify what those abnormalities are and to um, produce a, a correct differential diagnosis. This gentleman is presenting with a, a chronic productive cough. He's an ex-smoker. Would you please examine his respiratory system? Yeah. Hi, my name is Nahiri. I'm one of the medical students. Do you mind if I perform a respiratory you can do examination? Do what you like. Thank you. So I'd first like to do a general examination. Just look at your hands, please. They're bloody freezing. Oh, sorry. Can you just do this for me? No. Just try and resist me pushing them in. Yep. And the other hand as well. Just yep. spread your fingers out and just try and... Oh. Yep. Okay. Is it tender at all at your wrists? No. No? What about this side? Yeah. No? Can I get you to do this for me? Just bring your nails together. Yep. Just so okay. easy. Sorry. Just like this. Yep. Thank you. Okay. So, can I just get you to lift your your neck up. I'm just going to, sorry, I'm going to just feel your at the front of your neck. It might be a little bit uncomfortable. Right, go on. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would now like to just look at your back. So I'm just going to step behind. And again. Okay. One more time. Okay. Thank you. You're like a bloody iceberg. Um, can I get you to say 99 for me when you done. feel my oh, hand right. on your back? Okay. okay. 99. Yep, again. 99. 99. 99. Oh, shit. Just one more time. 99. Okay. I'm just going to tap on the back of your back, okay? Yeah. Okay. Now I'd just like to listen to your back. If you can take deep, deep breaths in and out through your mouth for me when you feel the stethoscope. Okay? Yeah. Just deep breath in and out.
Okay, thank you. And are you right? No. Yep. Can I just get you to say 99 again? You're going to wait a minute. Yep, sure. You okay, Mr. Bailey? Next plane. Next plane. Let me do it. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right, I'll try again. Yeah. So if I can get you to say 99 when you feel the stethoscope for me. Yep. 99. Yep. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Yep, thank you. Yep. Okay. Just gonna examine the front of your chest now. So just the same as before, I'm just gonna put my hands in it. Sorry, if I can get you to take a deep breath in and out for me. Yep. Okay. Um, same thing, so just if you could say 99 as I put my hand on your chest. I'm oh, sorry. 99 Just keep going. So if you could just keep going 99. 99. Just going to tap down the front again. Right. Yep. Just going to have a listen as well. Right. Yep, so just deep breaths in and out through your mouth if possible. Okay, deep breath in and out. We might just stop then, Mahiri. That's, that's great, thank you. So I just performed a respiratory um, examination on this gentleman. Um, when I looked at him generally, he is short of breath and has laboured breathing. He uses his accessory muscles as well. Um, on examination of the hands, there was no signs of clubbing. There was um, weakness of the, um, the fingers and there was no... Um, tenderness at the wrists, there was no signs of peripheral cyanosis, um, nor were there signs of um, nicotine staining, or, um, but there was uh, palmar crease pallor. Um, his pulse was uh, 54 beats per minute, no sorry, that, that's wrong, <laughs> um, it was 9 times tall, uh, okay. 108 beats per minute. Um, on, I would have ideally like to then um, move to his face and look at his eyes, his mouth, um, palpated his um, lymph nodes. Mm -hmm. um, I then went on to examine his trachea. It was not deviated, nor did I see a tracheal tug. Um, on examination of the back, there was no scars. Um, there was decreased expansion. Um, on percussion, there was dullness on the left lower lobe, or left, yeah, left lower lobe. Um, there was also vocal fremitus in that same area, as was the um, bronchial breathing. Um, on examination of the anterior chest, again, there was reduced um, expansion, but um, no other significant findings were found. Okay. So what do you think the possible diagnosis is? The possible diagnosis is uh, left lower lobe pneumonia. Um, He's coffee's chronic. Yeah. Could have bronchiectasis. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, that's excellent. Very Thanks. good. Thank you.
So this was a challenging case because of the um, discomfort and uh, dyspnea that the, the patient had. The student did a, an excellent job in addressing the needs and um, being empathetic to the, the patient's distress. Um, this was uh, certainly a pass um, to perform um, at an exceptional level. Uh, perhaps um, some additional features such as um, percussing over the clavicles and uh, listening in the axilla and perhaps a more experienced student could um, take further into account his distress and um, abbreviate the examination a, a little further. But uh, overall she did very well.